Welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Greg and Brickitect is my channel where I document every aspect of my Lego collecting journey. And sometimes that journey involves finding awesome yard sale scores. And that is what I have right here. I'm calling this the Lego treasure chest. And the story behind this is my father-in-law and mother-in-law, they were out yard sailing. I thought yard sale season was done for the year, but they went out and they went to this lady's yard sale and my father-in-law happened to come across this. On the top of it, it just says Mason. And he goes over to it. He opens it up and inside, this is what he sees. And trust me, I haven't gone through this whole lot yet. I kind of just glanced at the top because I wanted to save my reaction for you. So he looks at the top of this and he goes to the lady and he says, how much do you want for this? And the lady said, well, this is my grandson's. He's grown up now. He has no use for Lego stuff. So make me an offer. And my father-in-law says $10 and she says sold. So he comes over to our house with this whole treasure chest full of Lego stuff for $10. And I wanted to share it with you today just to see what kind of stuff we have in here. All right, Mason, let's see what your Lego collection looks like. First thing you notice right on top are a bunch of manuals. It says Mason's Lego instructions. And let's open this up because as I look through this just briefly, I think a lot of these sets are actually in here. So we'll get an idea and a taste of what's actually included. Looks like most of these are city and most of them are construction, but I'll fly through them really quick just so you can get an idea what's all in here. Do you have some creator? More city. I don't know what that is. That's non-Lego. Leads me to believe, and I did see that there is some non-Lego stuff in here, but I don't think it's nearly as bad as my mystery bags. I'll link one of those videos up at the top if you want to see that. Hey, we got a Nintendo DS instruction manual for Star Wars The Complete Saga. All kinds of stuff in here. There's a bigger city set. Wow, what's this? If this is in there, that would be totally awesome. So now we'll get on to the actual pieces that are inside here. We can see how much Lego we got for $10. We'll start with some of these bags first. And I don't know if these are sets or not. Let's open this up. These are a bunch of easy pieces, it looks like. And, okay. So there's a junior set. And right here, that looks like it might be the bottom part of that truck. What do we got here? Another junior's vehicle. So there could be a chance that those are in there. Not really sure. It looks like this is well organized. I do see the wheelbarrow that's in there. It's right there in the bag. That's pretty cool. We'll keep that separate just so it doesn't get all mixed up. Got another bag here. This definitely looks like one of the construction pieces. I'll have to figure out which one it is, but... Oh, there you go. There's a giveaway. 4202. So that's at least some of the pieces from this set here. And if I look in here a little deeper, I see some of the tires for that. So I have a good feeling that this is complete too. We'll see. Next thing that's sticking out to me is this. The back of this. So hopefully all the pieces of that are in there. There's one last bag in here. This is not Lego. Let's open this up and see what it is. This is some Halo stuff in here. Mega blocks. Wonder if that's complete. Maybe I'll build that up too, even though it's not Lego. I'll keep that separate, of course, but hey, it might have a set there. We got a vehicle that's kind of crazily made. Well done, Mason. There's a part of a boat in here. And again, there is the instructions for that. I'm starting to see some non-Lego stuff. There's a little Wolverine. I think my son will like to play with that. There's an army man. There's a zombie. Another part of a boat. This boat's a knockoff piece. I'm no stranger to getting knockoff stuff in my Lego finds, that's for sure. Some of these people, they just find all kinds of stuff, they put it all together, which makes sense. I can't blame them for that. So again, there's some non-Lego. But uh, I'm not gonna let some of this little non-Lego stuff deter me. I do think a lot of this, a lot of the pieces in here are mostly Lego. I think I'm just gonna dump this out now since we went through a lot of the bigger pieces. I'm just gonna dump this so we can really get a look at what's in here. So here we go. You saw all the stuff that I pulled out. Here is what's left. I'm seeing some decals over here. It looks like this is for set 4203, which is right here. Move this stuff around here. So you can get a look at what we got. There's a little car. I don't know what this little guy is. There's a road cone in here. A lot of this non-Lego stuff just kind of pops out to me. I know it's a little hard to see when you're looking at it on a video like this, but I figure if we just dump it out like this, it'll give you a good idea of what's all in here and a chance to look at it. I have to say, as I'm looking at this, the one thing that makes this score really different than my other flea market and yard sale scores of this year are the amount of vehicle pieces in here. There's tires and wheels and things like that everywhere and minifigures, which was something that was really lacking from everything else. It seems as though people at the flea markets pull them and sell them separately like the minifigures and they leave you with the other pieces, but this is fully intact and I have no doubt 
that this is really Mason's entire Lego collection. One thing I'm not seeing in here for you Star Wars fans is any Star Wars pieces, but I did come across something that might make you happy. Not really sure what these things are, but there you go. Oh, I could be wrong. There is some Star Wars in here. I just have to find a helmet. I found a miner's helmet. That's not what I'm looking for. I found that helmet. That's not what I'm looking for. There's another minifigure for you. Looks like a lot of these are in parts, and once I assemble them, we'll get an idea of how many we actually have in here. Like, here's some pants. There it is. Fully constructed. We'll just throw him back in there for now. But I have to say, I am totally stoked to have Mason's entire Lego collection for $10. This is an amazing pickup, especially with all the pieces that are in here. Got the pieces of the boat. All the pieces for what I think are all these construction vehicles that he had and all the manuals for him. So I'm gonna go through this, sift out all the non-Lego stuff, and then I'm gonna go back through and try to build some of these things. So we should have some good future content here on this channel with all the stuff that came out of here. Kinda crazy, man. I love a good yard sale score. I just wanna wrap this video up by thanking you for watching. If you wanna see where this story goes, make sure you subscribe, love to have you along. I'm putting new videos out daily following my Lego journey. So thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.